That's hilarious. Yeah. That's the guys who were like yeah, yeah. up to their neck in coke. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. oh my god, that's crazy that they got that upset. I'm having fun. I'm pretending I'm having well, fun I, with I, you. I, I make them believe I'm having fun with you. Honey. Just that's, all it that, took. Because I thought we were, yeah, you know, having they, fun. They really end. They're giving you, offering you millions of dollars. I'm <sighs> thinking, oh, isn't this nice? You know, <clears throat> that's yeah. a problem with people that have so much power. They want you to suck their dick every second of the day. Mm. And as soon as there's any deviation at all, they think you're. Oh, you think you're a smart ass? You're done in this yeah. town. Well, you know how you know that how, kind like, of power, you, you know? You know, you know how guys sleep with women, you know, to get ahead. I had a woman told me she wanted to fuck me, but she was hideous. And it was at night in the morning. You know, I'm going, Jesus, I'm not even drunk. I get I, 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 you know, I'm, 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 trying, I'm trying to back out of it. I'm going, no, nah, no. <laughs> I didn't get that job either. Yeah. Jesus nah, Christ. Nah. Yeah, I mean, there was look, there there was casting couches for both sides. There was yeah. I knew a lady who bang all these like sad little actor guys. She was always uh, she was a casting lady, and she'd have these little sad actor guys. They all like look all squeamish and shit. And you're like, oh, look at her, she's got that guy on a rope too. And she would bang them all. She would get these guys part. Get in and she here. Would fuck them all. Yeah. And she was she was aggressive. Yeah. You know? <laughs> well, this one was aggressive, but I, I'm going to add, it's creeping me out, you know? Not because I, I, I it's, a, it's not but what I wanted. The thing is, though, there's no victim there. No. Like, nobody feels sorry for those guys at no. all. Not even oh. for a second. A guy no. that fucks a lady who's a casting director, like, hey, he decided to do what he wanted to do. It's like, it, it's a, such a different thing than a guy being a casting agent that fucks the actress. I would fuck a dry cleaner for free dry cleaner. I mean, I mean, it's it's not, you know, it's just a matter of a, what what do you want to do, you know? How bad is that? It's, it's not that bad at all. <laughs> yeah. It's a different animal. It's funny. Yeah. The, 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 but that whole model's out the window now with all this Me Too stuff and after Weinstein got shot down. I don't act. I retired from acting, so I'd, I'd, I'd like to see what it's like now and wonder how much different it is and how much it's changed. You know, I bet well, it's changed quite a bit. Well, recently, Joe, I gave Louis a shot at the club, you know, after his Yeah, I heard little, about that. And, you know, Louis called me up and said, hey, do you mind if I do a spot? And I thought about it. I said, yeah, sure, no problem. You know, I like Louis. He yeah. wasn't arrested or convicted of anything. And yeah. so I put him in. He did fantastic. He and, calls me. He said, what do you think? I said, yeah, put and him on. after that evening, the backlash was just unbelievable. Yeah, you know, just I go, how long is enough? What does this guy have to do to try to get his career back? Right, but he, what is the backlash though? Because the backlash is not your your the actual customers, right? It, no, not, it, 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 it was they grabbed some female comics who that, aren't working that aren't mm -hmm. working for me, <clears throat> and that said that Mike locked the doors and put a sexual predator on stage, and you know, mm. I, I was like. <laughs> Everyone there enjoyed Louis, and you know, I'm just trying to help a friend get yeah. his life he came, back. He came in <clears throat> and he walked over to me. I give him a big hug. He goes, you got, We got no problem. I go, No, you nitwit. I said, I would have called you if that prick right had given me a number. He didn't give me a number. <laughs> he goes, That's not right. And I go, I know, that's what I told him. He says, So I bring him on stage. He says, Ladies and gentlemen, you know, this Me Too thing and everything. Here's a guy <laughs> who, who didn't touch any women. Matter of fact, he touched himself. That was the problem. They just happened to be in the room. And I said, you could have jerked off in front of me as long as you didn't get on my shirt. My shirts are pretty expensive. I said, but these are people you gave a job to. The people that, that turned on him, he gave jobs to. And uh, that's not right. Well, there's a lot to that story. I don't know. Yeah. There's a lot to that story that would make him look very different than a lot of these people that are accusing him. And one day, I think he's going to tell us. So he, I had a conversation with him about it. It's, it's not as cut and dry as everybody thinks. Right. Everybody thinks he had power over these women and he pulled his dick out and started. No, there was a lot of, there was a lot of sex talk. Mm -hmm. There was a lot of flirting. There was a lot going on. It wasn't that simple. And he's very, Con ve he's very contrite about it. Yes, <laughs> very, very. And he knows he fucked up. And by the way, he hadn't done anything like that in more than a decade. It was a long time. <laughs> he just, he's, just, he's got a kinky thing. He likes jerking off in front of listen, people. Listen, I, I can't, I can't even, I can't even jerk off if, if the neighbors are home. But, I'm a wreck. Here's you know, the I point. make weird faces and everything. So it wouldn't be fun for anyone. But he's not I, a bad guy. No, no, he's a good guy. He's not a rapist. He's no, not a sexual no, predator. He didn't touch anybody. No he, touch. he caught the worst part of the wave. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, like if you're in the ocean, and you could be in the ocean on a on a fucking surfboard, and you just catch this little tiny wave, and everything's fine. Or you could fuck up and be in the right spot when that giant wave comes and slams you in the head, and you have the same intention and the same person. And other in other times in history, he would have been fine. He he would probably be fine today, 
because everything is kind of there's enough of the females that have come out that have been full of shit like Asia Argento and the girl who accused Chris Hardwick and then Chris Hardwick released all these text messages that show that she actually cheated on him and she wanted right. him back and she's just trying to punish him for all this but these there's a, a few of those situations now where people realize well, well there's there's definitely sexual predators and there's definitely bad men and but there's also women who are taking advantage of this movement right and I think the the world is sort of like calmed down a little like the Asia Argento th one was a big one mm. you know when she it turned out that she was calling Harvey Weinstein a rapist while she was fucking a 17 year old right that right, she right, was right. she played his mom in a movie 10 <laughs> years ago when he mm. was seven it's like Jesus Christ like how could you how could you have that kind of hypocrisy but there's a lot of that in, in people that are screaming for attention at the mm. front of the line of a lot of these things. A lot of them have, like, dark secrets themselves. Mm. Yeah. You know, and, they're, they're, like, what, uh, how, these people that don't want a guy like Louis to have a road to redemption, they don't mm. want him to work. Or even yeah. a guy like Aziz Ansari, which is even worse, he had a bad date with a girl. Right. right. Like a bad date where she blew him, like, three different times and didn't want to keep going. Well, wait, and he wait, kept wait. Pushing he said it. bad date. That sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> no, I, it's better than no blowing. Right, right. right. <laughs> yeah, but it's the whole thing was so crazy. It's like y y y there's w there's more than one side to every story like that. And to take someone's opinion or someone's perception of something as 100% the actual event that happened without any other evidence. It's, mm. it's kind of crazy. I mean, I don't think I, I, I just I just think people have to recognize that Louis in particular He's been out of work. He was out of work for 10 months. Yep. He lost all of his shows. Lost yep. all his, people right. think he didn't suffer from that. Oh, he no, lost he $30 million, Joe. Yeah. People that think he didn't suffer are crazy. Yeah. You're crazy. If you think he should never be allowed to work again, well, he's not a criminal. Right. Okay? right. He's right. not in jail. Right. Right. So what right. are you saying? Like He, he shouldn't everyone, be able to do stand-up? Everyone, everyone deserves a second And that was chance. my yeah. point. Yeah. I, I said, sure, Louis, come in. You know what? Yeah, I wanted to give him a fighting chance, and he, I guess he is back doing clubs now. And he's doing know. a lot of clubs.